Hi, welcome to my uh, pinup rockabilly uh, makeup tutorial. So I'm going to show you a really cute, quick look. So it's going to be basically eyes and lips are going to be your focus. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. My first step, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows with my browsing from Benefit. This is in the dark for me because I have black hair and I'm taking an angle brush. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take the wax part first. And if you're unsure of how to find the arch, and to kind of give you that nice shape. The trick that you do is you take your brush, you go from the bridge of your nose, and that's where your front's gonna be. You take it to the side, going where your pupil is, that's where you're gonna find the tip of your arch. And then your angle at the end is where the tail of the brow is gonna be. So go ahead and mark those three, and then you just go ahead and fill them in. And now I'm just going to follow it up with the powder side of this palette and continue to give my eyebrow that shape. And just lightly tapping in into the powder and then putting it onto the eyebrow. So now I'm just going to follow through with the other side, doing the same process. And with the wax, you want to make sure that you're not pressing too hard onto it or onto the skin or it's going to be really dark and kind of give you like a sharpie effect. So now that I have my wax, so going in with the powder like I did on the other side, I'm just going to try to make them as identical as possible. Although that seems to be kind of a challenge when it comes to eyebrows. And I also like to make the front just a little bit thicker since I'm going for like a 50s pinup look. So a fuller brow with a really sharp arch. And now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyes. So first up, I'm going to take, this is my little dual um, concealer and eye brightener palette. This is Eye Bright from Benefit Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and just take my finger and warm it up and I'm going to do it all over the lid. So it just gives you a nice bright base. Because when it comes to pinup, you're going to want to have something the eye is going to be really simple with a dramatic wing and a really bright lip. So now I'm just taking a nice fluffy all over eyeshadow brush. And this palette that I'm going to use for this whole look is the Naked Palette by Urban Decay in their Basics. And the color that I'm using is this matte kind of yellow color called Foxy. And I'm going to take that and put that all over. So going from lid all the way up to the brow bone. So now I'm going to use that same brush and go into the Naked 2 color. Tap that in there. I'm going to kind of sculpt my crease a little bit. Just lightly dusting going above the lid so you can really open up your eye. So I'm just taking it and blending it back and forth. So now I'm going to take my shaping eye brush from uh, Bare Essentials. It has this nice little Kind of like angle to it. I'm going to take that angle tip, take it into the faint eyeshadow, which is this nice brown, and I'm going to cut the crease in the end because I want to make that crease just a little bit sharper. So, kind of going from the pupil out on both sides. and taking a little bit of that Naked 2 color and I'm just going to blend that in together and kind of pulling that up and pressing this side in and blending it. So I'm going to take a break from my eyeshadows for a minute. I'm going to take some good old scotch tape, kind of take some of that stick off. I'm going to take this right underneath Set it right there so I can get a nice crisp eyeliner line because I'm going to do a really awesome cat wing eyeliner 
for this pinup look. I'm trying to make them as even as possible. I know I look really goopy right now. So now I'm going to take my autograph eyeliner, gel liner from Kat Von D. I'm going to go ahead and start putting on that eyeliner. So I'm going to take those off. And now that I have my little line to work with, I'm going to go from there and just make them as even as possible. So just kind of go back and forth, see where you need to make them even. So kind of rounding out at the front. You just kind of play around. I know that I made this side a little bit thicker. So now I'm going to take this little side, put it into my boxy little matte eyeshadow, and just clean up the edges a little bit. So this is just going to be the longest process, is trying to make these two just as even as possible. I'm going to take my Miss Manga mascara and go ahead and get those lashes out. And now I'm taking my Smolder MAC eyeliner and going in and filling in my waterline. And now I'm taking this December Limited Edition Bare Essentials Eyeshadow and I'm going to go ahead and highlight around the eye. So doing underneath the liner, it just gives it that little extra drama. A little underneath the arch of your eyebrow. Right near the tear duct. And final step to this eye, I'm just going to go ahead and put on some little quarter length double eyelashes and then just put that kind of closer to the tail of your eyeliner so it just makes your eyes pop out even more. Give it about 20 seconds to dry and go ahead and set those eyelashes. I'm going to take my Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC and just lightly draw a line. Which you typically use a red lip liner, but I wanted to have almost like a, like a cartoonish effect. So now for my lipstick, I'm using Russian Red from MAC Cosmetics and just putting that all over the lips. I'm going to go back in with my Night Moth and just right around the bows of my lips add a little bit more depth. Now final step, I'm taking my Betty Balmer Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Dolce Vita. I actually had this custom made for me and I'm going to put that right in the center of my lips. And uh, there you have it folks, it's a nice little pinup rockabilly burlesque makeup tutorial. So if you liked what you saw today, uh, like and subscribe down at the bottom. Hope you enjoyed it.